Hey guys, Valeros here from the York Trade Federation. Uh, today I have a breeder base video for you guys. Um, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please like. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to go ahead and start off here on the ground floor. Uh, in this main structure here on the ground floor, we just have a city terminal. I was able to build the breeding base on top of one, so. I didn't close it, that way I wouldn't get bothered by other players when I decide to craft element dust. Normally though the base this under here stays unlocked for players to use. <clears throat> oh, I thought we had some lag there for a second. Last time you guys seen this base we were building the uh, pillars down here for my pillar video that I did for y'all. Uh, we were building this section over here. Uh, as you can see, we're able to keep the whole base supported off of this. Uh, like I said during that video, uh, I used this structure right here as the main support, the main structural support. And I also have some pillars off on the sides, that way in case something happens to this main structure, my whole base doesn't come crumbling down. But Let's go ahead and head on the in, head on inside for the uh, first floor, or to get a look at the first floor rather. So for the first floor here, I'm mainly going to use this to breed gigas, uh, brontos, and so so on, bigger dinos. Uh, I have the troughs laid out in here. That way, all the dinos can be fed from each trough. I have overlapping. I have them overlapping. The only thing that's not overlapping is this uh, little section right here, but all these dinos are big enough that they'll be able to eat from the troughs. If they're uh, if they're in that area, they'll be able to eat from the trough in the front and the back. I added a little crafting room in here and egg storage. I have cryo fridge storage with taxidermies over here. For the dinos, so I know which dinos are in which cryo fridges. Uh, vaults for supplies from OSD drops, cooking pots, stuff to make food over here. Vaults and chem benches up here. Fabricators, uh, smithies are over there. Have some forges back here in case you fancy yourself for smelting some metal. I don't have that many resources over here right now. Just finished building this base probably three or four days ago. But anyways, that is the ground floor, or the first floor rather. Let's go ahead and go upstairs to the second floor. On the second floor, I'm mainly going to use this to breed Rexes and Theries, mostly Rexes probably. But we have troughs laid out up here like we do downstairs, and as you can tell, this floor is a lot smaller than the first floor. And I did that because I was going to put cloners and stuff out here and a uh, trading post for anyone that decided to come over uh, to this map and uh, anybody that decided to buy dinos from us. Uh, on the next floor I have the breeding area for our flyers, mainly snow owls because I hate collecting thing, eggs from those when they're sitting on the ground. They're, it's just a pain. I, I hate doing it. And then we have our Deinoticus breeding area over here. Because they're uh, eggs have a seven uh, day decay timer. I normally uh, leave them breeding all the time and I'll just come up here and collect the eggs once or twice a week. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I did add a shelf here for me to land a wyvern or something up here to go inside the base. I do not have anything on top of the base as you can tell right there uh, this is a very large base um, 
I know for some people they won't need a breeding base this big, and I know some people will want a base bigger than this for their breeding dinos. I've seen breeding bases go up eight or nine floors, so to each their own. But this is my take on a breeding base. If you guys liked the video, like I said earlier, uh, please like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.